Hey, tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. A smoky haze from the wildfires in Australia has put a cloud over the Happy Slam, and it's become a problem during qualifying matches. The fires have ravaged Australia, killing dozens of people, millions of animals, and it's destroyed thousands of homes. Now, the winds are pushing thick smoke over Melbourne, making the air quality terrible. And while health officials are urging residents to stay indoors, the Australian Open qualifying rounds went on after just a few hours of delay. Now, some players had a hard time with it. Jeannie Bouchard said playing in that smoke felt like spikes in her lungs. Dustin Brown said it was the first time in his life he's ever used asthma spray on the court. Nicholas Mahout said that he thought about wearing a surgical mask when he played. Liam Brody tweeted very angrily about having to play in these extreme conditions, saying that the tournament's decision to play qualies was a slap in the face and that they should have been protecting the players. And the tennis world watched as Delilah Yakupovic collapsed on court, suffering a coughing fit and was forced to retire. She was in the lead in that match and said she was very angry she had to play, but was afraid if she didn't, she would be fined. Now, some players asked for the tournament to be rescheduled. Tournament director Craig Tiley says the air is not a threat and he insisted his priority is the health of the players. Officials say they've installed a monitoring device that measures air quality every few minutes and that they'll consult their medical team and scientists as they make daily decisions about play. So what's the solution to all this? What about the Australian Open becoming the game's first indoor Grand Slam? Why not? The tournament has roofs over three of the stadium courts, including the Rod Laver and Margaret Court arenas. Could the AO put a lid on the controversy and more importantly protect the health of players and fans by making it an indoor event? Well, we put that question to John McEnroe and he says he's actually always liked the idea of an indoor Grand Slam. Uh, if you've been around me at all, uh, I always thought that that would be a tremendous addition to the sport to have one that was indoors. Uh, we didn't want it necessitated by poor air conditions. But uh, when you're playing in my day, we were playing indoors virtually from uh, October through the better part of April into early May. So it made no sense to me to go in and out. But of course, we go from clay to hard and et cetera different surfaces and changing balls and conditions. So it's not something that's totally unprecedented, but it seemed like that could be an opportunity that we haven't utilized. Uh, but maybe that, that just hasn't happened. I, I still think it would be a good thing for the game. Now things are improving in Melbourne. Tennis Now photographer Mark Peterson, a Melbourne native, tells us rain has finally arrived and the winds have changed direction and conditions seem to be improving. So just maybe things will be okay, we'll see. So where do you stand on this issue? Let us know in the comment section below and we'll see you next time.